Aloha. I'm so glad you're here with us today, and I hope I can bring you some aloha spirit and some joy in the demonstration I'm going to bring on how to paint on silk. My name is Michelle Wilborn. I'm a fiber artist, a textile designer, a seamstress, and I love to paint on silk. I learned how to sew as a kid, making clothes for my pets, such as a rabbit. <laughs> Imagine that. And um, I also learned how to love scarves. So I taught myself how to make them, and now I'm painting them. I hope this brings you some interest, and if you are, in the comments below, you want to check out the source where you can buy a kit for yourself and start making your own. So let's get started. Here I am applying the Scuda. This, I am using a water-based Scuda. And what the Scuda does is it provides a barrier if you do not want color dye to spread to other parts of the silk. This is a sample piece that I've just been wanting to experiment with different techniques, so I thought I'd share it with you. I thought maybe I'd do a pocket square. I'm just going to do a couple of leaves. And I like to do just some simple hand drawn you can also put a pattern underneath the silk and trace it Here I see that there is a place that is disconnected. Anytime there is a break in the Gouda, other color will flow through. And let's do another leaf here and it's going to go underneath. Sure, we get that line closed up there. And you also don't want to drag your fingers in a line you've already drawn. <laughs> There's some very colorful leaves here in Hawaii on the crocus plant, so I thought I would do something fun with that because they have these patterns that are somewhat uniform but not always just like real life nothing is always symmetrical So this could also be a pocket square. I can sew and turn up the edges so that a man could wear this in this pocket on his suit. Or a woman could tie it on her purse. You could also do some designs along the edge. It all is your creative eye and how you are inspired. So here's what the resist looks like. This one is the resist ad by Jacquard water-based Gouda, non-toxic, and you mix it equal parts of water and the Gouda. And I placed it in a small, 
applicator bottle like this. It's squeeze and it has a tip when they come with a different size dimension of holes at the end. This one's rather small, but you see in the humidity here in Hawaii, it does sort of spread out a little bit. You can also use equal parts of dye. I use the Jacquard green label. This is scarlet. You could use equal parts of color and the Gouda and then your line will not be white like the silk when it's removed. Okay, I'm going to finish drawing my lines with the Gouda, also known as Resist. Don't be confused with Gouda and Resist. They're kind of interchanged labels, but I use a water-based Resist. The Gouda has a bad smell. Now I'm going to put my paint on. You just want to go ahead and paint with the colors you have. Don't be afraid to um, use the colors on top of each other. Like I'm using this yellow on top of the green here. I already had decided what colors I'd use, so they were ready to go. And right now in this color that looks grayish, it really is alcohol and water-based mixed. It restricts the flow of the dye. And you see that yellow and that blue are not spreading as quickly as when I painted earlier on that leaf. See how quickly it spreads. It's so much fun. And of course, this is sped up a little bit to save time. So the alcohol is a technique that can be used to slow the spread of the dye. You want to work quickly, wet on wet, because once it's dry, it will leave an edge, which is an advantage. So you can use that to your advantage. And I'll show that technique to you later. So I finish using uh, the resist lines to fill in the colors of the design that I put on the silk. Now I put in, in a background. This is a tint. I use black dye with a lot of water to get that tint. And that scribble there in the corner. I always like my initials to or my signature on my on my scarves. I'm going to use some blotch now and see that wet on wet yellow is a bully color it just pushes the color away red not so much each color acts differently so it's fun to explore and decide what you're going to use and how you're going to use it and here i let this the dye this the dye spread, and then I added water to dilute it even more. This will be the edge that I turn up on this scarf and roll with a hand stitch. And I use a salt technique when it's wet. So when it was wet, I'm scraping the salt off now, and you can see where it's made some little crazy starbursts and salt Table salt works fine. You can buy it. You can use sugar even. Just experiment. So here's some design that I've already started to put on the dry silk. It's all dry now. And I've started to put some etching in black using a very fine brush. Brushes are also going to give you different results. Remember, this is just a demonstration. And you can look in the comments, or not the comments, but the description. And here it is. Here's the finished result. It has dried, and I still need to steam it, or I can use a chemical die set to set it. 
And there's that salt technique. And this is a sketch that I usually draw out before I start my project so I know what it's going to look like. And I will keep a copy of that, decide the colors I'm going to use. And here is that last scarf that I made just out of the steamer. It's been washed and ironed. And now it is ready to wear. Aloha. Thank you, enjoyed, and mahalo for joining me today.